Lesson 122. One, four, three, please. Madam? Let me have the key for room 143. Mrs. Madigan. Your card, please. Card? Your bedroom card. I can't give you your key without your card. It's a rule. You see the notice? For your security, show your bedroom card when collecting your key. Do you have your card? Oh, I don't know. Is this it? No, madam. That's your confirmation of booking. Ah, this is it. There you are. Thank you. Now, 143. It's not here. Not here? No, madam. But I checked the key when I went out. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I gave it to you. There's nothing in my bag. Oh. Here it is. I'm sorry. For your security, please leave your key at the reception desk when you go out. For your security, madam. Yes, yes, all right. Uh, can you call room service? If you want anything, madam, press the button in your room. Just press the button. Yes, madam. Oh, that was quick. Yes, madam. I'd like breakfast served in my room tomorrow morning. Is that possible? Yes, madam. At seven o'clock? No, madam. No? Guests are advised that breakfast can be served in bedrooms between eight o'clock and ten o'clock only. Not before eight and not after ten. It's a rule. Another rule? Well, I'd like my breakfast served as early as possible. Yes, madam. Breakfast, eight o'clock... Room 143. Anything else? No, thank you. Not for now. Thank you, madam. Good night. Oh, good night. Lesson 123. Barbara and Harry are entering Mr. McAndrew's office. Oh, dear. I wish we'd taken the lift. If I'd known it was so far up, I wouldn't have suggested walking. Good morning. Can I help you? Yeah, I have an appointment with Mr. McAndrew at 11. Uh, what is your name, please? Salis. Mm. Are you sure it was at 11 o'clock, sir? In my diary, it's 11.30. I thought we'd agreed on 11. However, it doesn't matter. Well, I'll ask Mr. McAndrew if he can see you a little earlier. Um, would you go through the first door on the right, please? Do make yourself at home. Thank you. I was sure Mr. McAndrew had agreed to see me at 11. an extraordinary room. Look at all those portraits on the wall. Extraordinary. I agree with you. Who do you think they are? Old directors of the firm, I suppose. They all look so severe. I'd expected something unusual, but... Look at their black umbrellas folded neatly by their sides. They all seem to be staring at us. And now you're going to challenge all this with your new invention. Well, that's my intention. But frankly, this place frightens me. Looking at all those old gentlemen on the wall, I feel I'm just a poor foreigner with a crazy idea butting his head against a wall of old-fashioned umbrellas. Lesson 123. Drill 1. Did they have any food for you? No, but I'd eaten before. Did they have any food for you? No, but I'd eaten before. Did they have any food for Peter? No, but he'd eaten before. Did they have any food for your mother? No, but she'd eaten before. Did they have any food for your friends? No, but they'd eaten before. Lesson 123. Drill 2. The waiter took your plate away. But I hadn't finished eating. The waiter took your plate away. But I hadn't finished eating. The waiter took Pamela's plate away. But she hadn't finished eating. The waiter took the children's plates away. But they hadn't finished eating. The waiter took Mr. McAndrew's plate away. But he hadn't finished eating. Lesson 123. Drill 3. Harry spent a lot of money. He wishes he hadn't spent so much. Harry spent a lot of money. He wishes he hadn't spent so much. The Salises spent a lot of money. 
They wish they hadn't spent so much. Barbara spent a lot of money. She wishes she hadn't spent so much. You spent a lot of money. I wish I hadn't spent so much. Lesson 123, Drill 4. I'm still here. I thought you'd gone. I'm still here. I thought you'd gone. Those people are still here. I thought they'd gone. That man's still here. I thought he'd gone. That woman's still here. I thought she'd gone. Lesson 123, Drill 5. I couldn't write to you because I'd lost my pen. Why didn't you tell me you'd lost your pen? I couldn't write to you because I'd lost my pen. Why didn't you tell me you'd lost your pen? I couldn't see the play because I'd lost my ticket. Why didn't you tell me you'd lost your ticket? I couldn't go because I'd broken my leg. Why didn't you tell me you'd broken your leg? I couldn't take the picture because I'd broken my camera. Why didn't you tell me you'd broken your camera? Lesson 123, Drill 6. You wrote this awful book, didn't you? It would have been even worse if you'd written it. You wrote this awful book, didn't you? It would have been even worse if you'd written it. You made this awful cake, didn't you? It would have been even worse if you'd made it. You cooked this awful lunch, didn't you? It would have been even worse if you'd cooked it. You took this awful photograph, didn't you? It would have been even worse if you'd taken it.
Lesson 124. Hi, Sam. Did you sleep all right? No. And neither did I. There aren't any sheets on the beds. I've just asked somebody about that. Yes? Sheets are available for hire. What? What do you expect for three crowns a night, including breakfast? Where is breakfast? Where did you get that? Over there, and hurry. They don't serve breakfast after nine o'clock. Right. <laughs> we'll get some sheets afterwards. There are your sheets. Anything else? I'd like a shower. Uh, is there one on our floor? There's a shower on each floor. Turn left at the lift, and it's at the end of the corridor on the right. And you get the key from me. Uh, may I have the key to the shower, please? Uh, I'd like a shower now. There. Thanks. Is that all? No, it isn't. Where can I do my washing? Laundry facilities are available on the third floor. Now, uh, when are you going to pay? Pay? <laughs> what for? Your room. Two weeks in advance. Today, please. Uh, I'd like to pay when we check out. Two weeks in advance. Today, please. All right. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see you later. Oh, who are you? I'm cleaning. Oh, oh, perhaps you can help me. Yes. What is it? Well, this light doesn't work. Doesn't it? No. Oh, it does work. How? There, you see. Thank you. It usually works. But what do you expect for three crowns a night? 125. Harry is being interviewed by Mr. McAndrew. The advantage of this umbrella is that you can keep it in your pocket. Then when it rains, you just take it out, press a button, and there you have as good an umbrella as you can find anywhere. Anywhere? Hmm. I'm sure it's impossible to improve our umbrellas, Mr. Sellis. Yeah, perhaps, but I wish you could watch me giving a demonstration. I merely think you could manufacture a different kind of umbrella. A different kind of umbrella? It would increase sales enormously. But let me tell you, Mr. Sellis, our umbrellas are the result of centuries of research. Of course. But an inflatable umbrella can be carried about so easily. Mr. Sellis, I think you forget that our umbrella is a mark of respectability, the sign of a gentleman. Even royalty use it. Can you really see an Englishman carrying a kind of balloon through the streets? I think we're talking at cross purposes. I am... For centuries, Mr. Sellers, our clients have put up their umbrellas unaided. But they might get used to inflating them. Inflating them? Mr. Sellers? This, Mr. McAndrew, is a question of a practical invention, not just of tradition. <laughs> Really, Mr. Salis, it seems I can't make you understand. Thank you for coming, but I'm really very busy. Lesson 125, Drill 1. What did they want you to do? They wanted me to sing a song. What did they want you to do? They wanted me to sing a song. What did they tell you to do? They told me to sing a song. What did they ask you to do? They asked me to sing a song. What did they persuade you to do? They persuaded me to sing a song. Lesson 125, Drill 2. He left when he'd spoken. But when did he finish speaking? He left when he'd spoken. But when did he finish speaking? He left when he'd eaten. But when did he finish eating? He left when he'd dressed. But when did he finish dressing? He left when he'd phoned. But when did he finish phoning? Lesson 125, Drill 3. Why did you stop what you were doing? I stopped to phone my mother. Why did you stop what you were doing? I stopped to phone my mother. Why did Mr. McAndrew stop what he was doing? He stopped to phone his mother. Why did that woman stop what she was doing? She stopped to phone her mother. Why did Peter stop what he was doing? 
He stopped to phone his mother. Lesson 125, Drill 4. Why don't you ever phone your mother? I've stopped phoning her because I've lost the number. Why don't you ever phone your mother? I've stopped phoning her because I've lost the number. Why doesn't Mr. McAndrew ever phone his mother? He stopped phoning her because he's lost the number. Why doesn't that woman ever phone her mother? She stopped phoning her because she's lost the number. Why doesn't Peter ever phone his mother? He's stopped phoning her because he's lost the number. Lesson 125, Drill 5. The children washed the car. Did anyone make them wash it? The children washed the car. Did anyone make them wash it? The children cleaned the house. Did anyone make them clean it? The children painted the kitchen. Did anyone make them paint it? The children made the beds. Did anyone make them make them? Lesson 125, Drill 6. Did Mr and Mrs Sallis get up late? No, they were made to get up early. Did Mr and Mrs Sallis get up late? No, they were made to get up early. Did your parents get up late? No, they were made to get up early. Did you get up late? No, I was made to get up early. Did he get up late? No, he was made to get up early. In my dreams I saw her cry and in my dreams I heard her say goodbye. In my dreams I saw her cry and in my dreams I heard her say goodbye Let me tell you why I cry I've lost the only friend I have She left me without a word Shall I ask her to come home or does she want to be alone? Free as a bird I tried to see her yesterday Her friends told me she'd gone away She left me without a word I couldn't make her stay with me Because she wanted to be free Free as a bird But in my dreams I saw her cry And in my dreams I heard her say goodbye
Lesson 124. Hi, Sam. Did you sleep all right? No. Neither did I. There aren't any sheets on the beds. I've just asked somebody about that. Yes? Sheets are available for hire. What? What do you expect for three crowns a night, including breakfast? Where is breakfast? Where did you get that? Over there, and hurry. They don't serve breakfast after nine o'clock. Right. <laughs> we'll get some sheets afterwards. There are your sheets. Anything else? I'd like a shower. Uh, is there one on our floor? There's a shower on each floor. Turn left at the lift. It's at the end of the corridor on the right. And you get the key from me. Uh, may I have the key to the shower, please? Uh, I'd like a shower now. There. Thanks. Is that all? No, it isn't. Where can I do my washing? Laundry facilities are available on the third floor. Now, uh, when are you going to pay? Pay? <laughs> what for? Your room. Two weeks in advance. Today, please. Uh, I'd like to pay when we check out. Two weeks in advance. Today, please. All right. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see you later. Oh, who are you? I'm cleaning. Oh, Oh, perhaps you can help me. Yes. What is it? Well, this light doesn't work. Doesn't it? No. Oh, it does work. How? There, you see. Thank you. It usually works. But what do you expect for three crowns a night? 125. Harry is being interviewed by Mr. McAndrew. The advantage of this umbrella is that you can keep it in your pocket. Then when it rains, you just take it out, press a button, and there you have as good an umbrella as you can find anywhere. Anywhere? Mm. I'm sure it's impossible to improve our umbrellas, Mr. Sellis. Yeah, perhaps. But I wish you could watch me giving a demonstration. I merely think you could manufacture a different kind of umbrella. A different kind of umbrella? It would increase sales enormously. But let me tell you, Mr. Sallis, our umbrellas are the result of centuries of research. Of course. But an inflatable umbrella can be carried about so easily. Mr. Sallis, I think you forget that our umbrella is a mark of respectability, the sign of a gentleman. Even royalty use it. Can you really see an Englishman carrying a kind of balloon through the street? I think we're talking at cross purposes. I am... Um... centuries, Mr. Sallis, our clients have put up their umbrellas unaided. But they might get used to inflating them. Inflating them? Mr. Sallis? This, Mr. McAndrew, is a question of a practical invention, not just of tradition. <laughs> really, Mr. Sallis, it seems I can't make you understand. Thank you for coming, but I'm really very busy. Lesson 125. Drill 1. What did they want you to do? They wanted me to sing a song. What did they want you to do? They wanted me to sing a song. What did they tell you to do? They told me to sing a song. What did they ask you to do? They asked me to sing a song. What did they persuade you to do? They persuaded me to sing a song. Lesson 125. Drill 2. He left when he'd spoken. But when did he finish speaking? He left when he'd spoken. But when did he finish speaking? He left when he'd eaten. But when did he finish eating? He left when he dressed. But when did he finish dressing? He left when he'd phoned. But when did he finish phoning? Lesson 125. Drill 3. Why did you stop what you were doing? I stopped to phone my mother. Why did you stop what you were doing? I stopped to phone my mother. Why did Mr. McAndrew stop what he was doing? He stopped to phone his mother. Why did that woman stop what she was doing? She stopped to phone her mother. Why did Peter stop what he was doing? 
He stopped to phone his mother. Lesson 125, Drill 4. Why don't you ever phone your mother? I've stopped phoning her because I've lost the number. Why don't you ever phone your mother? I've stopped phoning her because I've lost the number. Why doesn't Mr. McAndrew ever phone his mother? He stopped phoning her because he's lost the number. Why doesn't that woman ever phone her mother? She stopped phoning her because she's lost the number. Why doesn't Peter ever phone his mother? He's stopped phoning her because he's lost the number. Lesson 125, Drill 5. The children washed the car. Did anyone make them wash it? The children washed the car. Did anyone make them wash it? The children cleaned the house. Did anyone make them clean it? The children painted the kitchen. Did anyone make them paint it? The children made the beds. Did anyone make them make them? Lesson 125, Drill 6. Did Mr. and Mrs. Sallis get up late? No, they were made to get up early. Did Mr. and Mrs. Sallis get up late? No, they were made to get up early. Did your parents get up late? No, they were made to get up early. Did you get up late? No, I was made to get up early. Did he get up late? No, he was made to get up early. In my dreams I saw her cry and in my dreams I heard her say goodbye. In my dreams I saw her cry and in my dreams I heard her say goodbye. Let me tell you why I cry. I've lost the only friend I have She left me without a word Shall I ask her to come home Or does she want to be alone? Free as a bird I tried to see her yesterday Her friends told me she'd gone away She left me without a word couldn't make her stay with me because she wanted to be free free as a bird but in my dreams I saw her cry and in my dreams I heard her say goodbye but in my dreams I saw her cry and in my dreams I heard her say goodbye Thank you.
Lesson 128. I'm Tony. And we, that's me and my brother George, my twin brother George, we work in a hotel in St Francis. I work in reception and George works in room service. Here's George. Good morning. Room service. Ooh. Ooh. What? Uh, breakfast. Oh. oh, thank you. Um... Uh, George, Mrs... Uh... Miss. Oh, thank you, George. And will you contact reception? There's a message for you at reception. Message at reception? Oh, oh, thank you. George? Ah, uh, Tony. Uh, yes, Mrs... Uh... Miss, uh, there's a message for me. Name? World. Miss World. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Um, when are you checking out? Is that the message? Yes. Oh. Well, tomorrow. Please hand your key to the receptionist. Of course. Now, my laundry. Laundry is collected from your room. I know, but... Put your laundry in the bag, fill in the list. Yes, yes. Put it outside your door, and it's delivered the same day. I've been waiting for six days. It's delivered after six days. Oh. Oh, thank you. Lesson 130. Excuse me. Yes, Mrs. Madigan. I'd like to go out for dinner this evening. Do you know... There is an excellent restaurant in the hotel. I know, but I've eaten there every evening. I want to go out. Can you recommend a good restaurant near here? Yes, the Star. What kind of food do they serve? Well, there's a choice of an excellent set dinner or a varied a la carte menu. Where can I get good Anglin cooking? Oh, for Anglin cooking, I'd recommend the Tower. Hmm. There's a very comprehensive Anglin menu from which you can choose anything from a light snack to a full course dinner. Ah, yes. I'll go there. Now, where is it? Have you decided, madam? Yes, I have. I'll start with soup. Fish or vegetable? Oh, sorry, uh, fish. And to follow? Can you tell me what this is? Franciscan fillet. That's a local speciality. It's steak cooked in a wine sauce. I'll have it. No vegetables, just bread. And to follow? Hmm, no, oh, I'll decide later. Uh, may I see the wine list, please? Yes, madam. Excellent. Wonderful. Absolutely delicious. I'll recommend it to everybody. Thank you, madam. May I have the bill, please? Here you are, madam. Oh, very quick service. There you are. Keep the change. Thank you, madam. Lesson 131. Pamela and the Salises are driving down to the house of Pamela's parents in a very old car. This car's over 20 years old, but it goes all right. And um, we'll be in Salisbury before midday. Then we should reach your parents' house by five o'clock. That means we'll have been travelling for about seven hours. I think it's amazing that we can make such a long journey in such an old car. Last Saturday, I drove 80 miles in three hours, an average speed of just under 30 miles an hour. In England, you know, people are much fonder of old cars than in other countries. Of course, there's a road test now for old cars, but this car passed the road test. Mm. Isn't the steering wheel a little loose? No, no, the steering's all right. The uh, only disadvantage is that the gears are a little stiff and the accelerator sometimes sticks. But one gets used to it. What was that? Oh, oh just the exhaust. Don't worry. I hope you're comfortable there at the back. The springs are good for such an old car, aren't they? Very good for such an old car. Oh, dear. These noises are a little sudden, aren't they? What's that knocking in the engine? Oh, it does that from time to time, but it's nothing serious. I'm sure it isn't good for the engine. Oh, the car's stopping. Did you do that on purpose, Pamela? Um, not exactly. Uh, I think something's gone wrong. 
Uh, don't worry, Peter's an excellent mechanic, aren't you, darling? I didn't know you were a mechanic, Peter. No, neither did I. Lesson 131, Drill 1. June. I'll see you again in June. June. I'll see you again in June. The spring. I'll see you again in the spring. The morning. I'll see you again in the morning. Lesson 131, Drill 2. Six o'clock. He's arriving at six o'clock. Six o'clock. He's arriving at six o'clock. Six o'clock, the fifth. He's arriving at six o'clock on the fifth. Six o'clock, June the fifth. He's arriving at six o'clock on June the fifth. Six o'clock, Monday, June the fifth. He's arriving at six o'clock on Monday, June the fifth. Lesson 131, Drill 3. I drove Harry's new car last week. Really? I'm going to drive it next week. I drove Harry's new car last week. Really? I'm going to drive it next week. I drove Harry's new boat last month. Really? I'm going to drive it next month. I met Mrs. McAndrew last Sunday. Really? I'm going to meet her next Sunday. I met Mr. McAndrew last Tuesday. Really? I'm going to meet him next Tuesday. Lesson 131, Drill 4. Has Pamela taken her medicine yet? She took it ten minutes ago. Has Pamela taken her medicine yet? She took it ten minutes ago. Have you taken your medicine yet? I took it ten minutes ago. Have the boys taken their medicine yet? They took it ten minutes ago. Has my father taken his medicine yet? He took it ten minutes ago. Lesson 131, Drill 5. Three weeks. I've been trying to sell my car for three weeks. Three weeks. I've been trying to sell my car for three weeks. Christmas. I've been trying to sell my car since Christmas. Four months. I've been trying to sell my car for four months. April last year. I've been trying to sell my car since April last year. Two years. I've been trying to sell my car for two years. Lesson 131, Drill 6. The exam. I was sick three times during the exam. The exam. I was sick three times during the exam. The night. I was sick three times during the night. The film. I was sick three times during the film. The lesson. I was sick three times during the lesson.